there guys and my fate back in so I know it's been a while it's, it was actually one of my first ever videos that I ever did but I'm gonna be doing a pop figure video today like I said I know it's been a while but um so this is for the Naruto pop figures uh, I recently someone gave me a new one I am gonna show off some of my previous ones first and then we'll move on to the newest one Simply because I like to do the full collection. But so, we're going to start off with just regular Naruto. I do like the attention to detail on it. Simply because like the hair shape, the headband, how it's actually coming to the side. The Rasengan, how you can actually see there's actual grooves and waves in it. Just like there are when he's doing the fight. But so, that in itself is pretty cool. So, moving on, we have, this was actually one of the more special ones to me. And you guys, this one was actually in a previous video. But, the Ninetale Fox Kurama. Very cool. Uh, I've had him for, gosh, a couple years now. Looks again, I do like the attention to detail, the teeth, the claws, and then they actually did put, instead of, you know, whatever, they actually did put all nine tails. Which, again, you would think wouldn't be a big deal, but when you deal with other things that have nine tail fox, sometimes it'll put all nine. Like, if I'm correct, I have this little guy right here. This is made... Let me grab my switch. So you take this... Like that. And he just kind of rests on it. But so, like, this one, he doesn't have all nine. He actually only has eight. And they just basically hid one of the tails. So when you have something that's actually noticeable, they're probably going to put all nine. But still, it makes me feel a lot yeah, you know, I, I like it more simply because they actually added that just little bit extra effort for it. Alright, next on the list is another Nantel Fox. But this one is the uh, Link Kurama mode where basically instead of bringing out the Nantel Fox, Naruto is able to bring out like a quote unquote astral form of it. But basically, he's completely connected to it, and they are one in the same. I am wanting to get the golden Naruto as well, and I'm going to be saving up for it here soon. But the thing that I like about this is that... Let me turn off the light here. You got a black light. Same thing goes for uh, the other Naruto. He glows. Like that's, you can tell. My room is pretty much dark. There's a little bit of light on this side, but you can tell it's dark over here. And that that's not light refraction. That's straight up, he's glowing. But yeah, I just take... You know, like a black light, put up against his head. Same with the body, put at the bottom. I do find it funny that if you look at the bottom, the bottom kind of glows gold and the top kind of glows like a greenish yellow. But it's still pretty cool. I'll light them up one more time so you guys can see it. And then we'll move on to the last one. There's only four. I have these three, and then there's the newest one that someone got me. 
So you see what I mean? The body kind of glows like a yellowish hue, and then the head grows like green. Either way, I think it's I think it's cool, no matter what. Alright. So I haven't actually like opened it and taken it out. I've only opened up the package itself just to check to see what was inside. Oh, nice. So, for those of you that do watch Naruto, this is the Jiraiya. Now, Jiraiya is my favorite character. He sadly, you know, it, it's been quite a few years, so I mean, this shouldn't be a spoiler, but he did die. And he was actually the person that taught Naruto how to do the Rasengan. And he called it the Lord Fourth Rasengan. And what we didn't know for a while was the fact that the Lord Fourth, the person who came up with the Rasengan and was the Hokage, was also Naruto's dad. Because we never really saw a picture of him. We just saw like the card face. We never knew that he was blonde. Unlike, you know, how Naruto's quite literally the only blonde person. Or yellow hair, I should say. Not blonde. Just straight up yellow hair in the entire Naruto universe. He's the only one with that colored hair. And the fact that his dad has the same colored hair. Until they showed us, we never know. But so... The other part that I like is the fact that Jiraiya and the dad were best friends, too. And it was Jiraiya's... Because Jiraiya is also an author. It was his book character that got Minato, Naruto's dad, to name Naruto. Because the book character, or the quote-unquote famous hero in the book, was named Naruto. So, first of all, one of the things I do like about some of these newer uh, pop figures is that they actually come with a backdrop, which I think is really cool. Because if you want to go, like, put it up on a shelf or something, you can put the backdrop, like, right behind them. It is a cool backdrop. So, that's actually really, really cool. You know, like I said, Drya being my favorite character, I will pay a lot of attention to this. And funny enough, like if you look where his nose is, he has like a little mole bump there. They put that much detail into this. This is why I've always liked pop figures, because they do put a lot of detail into their works. That is so cool, though. Naruto is actually... I think the reason why I hold Naruto close to me is the fact that it was my first anime. And so... It does mean a lot to me simply because it was my first anime. But yeah. Alrighty. So that is the new Jiraiya pop figure. Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, hopefully I'll be uploading more and more. I know tomorrow's Friday, so I won't be uploading until Monday. Unless something happens over the weekend. But it's very unlikely because honestly I'm running out of money. Because you know with the whole quarantine and stuff. I haven't been able to work and I haven't been getting paid. So. Because since we moved I had to quit my job. So I haven't been able to get a job so I'm not getting paid. So. Uh, 
I basically used the last mo my money for the Ghost of Tsushima, which comes in like June or July. So until then, it's basically just like free PS4 games and streaming and all that. Unless people buy stuff for me, which I don't know about any other people. I hate when people buy me things. Not not in like a hate like a like a selfish way, more like a hate like a I feel bad. Cause like someone's actually taking time out of their day to buy me something and like it makes me feel really, really good that someone bought me something. It makes me feel bad because now I feel guilty that like I have to pay them back. And as much as I hate feeling like that because they did such a nice gesture. I don't have anything to give back. And a lot of people are like, oh, no, you don't need to. I did this because I wanted to. Oh, well, I get that you did what you wanted to, but maybe this is what I want to do is pay you back. So it's like, like, uh, I don't know if you can see it up there on my top shelf. There's a little Amiibo card. Uh, I got that, what, last week, week before? And, you know, one of my viewers slash friends sent that in to me. Well, he found a double. And he sent that one to me, too. It's going to be coming, I think, between the 28th and the 2nd. I feel horrible because, like, these things cost so much on Amazon right now. Like, seriously, go look up an Animal Crossing card. They are so expensive. And the fact that he sent one in to me makes me feel... So good, but on the same fact that I got to pay him back. But thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully, you know, these videos are helping you guys pass, pass the time. Uh, I will be keeping my streaming schedule Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm thinking maybe I might switch it up on Wednesdays and play a different game. Seeing as how I'll be playing my blood or my blood stain ritual of the night off off screen I'll be playing a lot of the story and I'll basically be just doing I'll go boss battle stop right before the boss battle and just grind out and then when Monday comes continue from there for two hours but uh to be honest I don't know I I was thinking about playing like Overwatch or something or I mean I had I had a couple other ideas maybe Destiny because I know a lot of people like Destiny. And I have a couple friends who also play it. We do some raids or something like that. But so. You know put put some uh, ideas down in the comments. For some games. Uh, I'll probably in my next stream. I'll probably lift off, list off the games that I have. And maybe I'll let you guys decide what I do. Um, I do VR on Twitch. But if you guys want me to do start doing VR on YouTube as well. I can start doing that. So, but, you know, put it all down in the comments so I know. And anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. Appreciate it very much. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time, and I will see you guys later.